This stray cat became a regular visitor to the farm, and when the farmer uncovered the true reason behind its daily visits, he let out a shocked scream. Yochi Aranavs, residing with his family on a kibbutz in Shefela in the Judean hills of Israel, was a 56-year-old man managing a small dairy farm. Specializing in raising Israeli and Holstein cows for milk, Yochi was dedicated to ensuring the highest quality of milk production. Regular consultations with a veterinary doctor and adherence to production regulations were part of his commitment to the well-being of his cattle. Despite being a farmer, Yochi led a simple life with his wife and daughter. His wife, employed as a teacher outside the kibbutz, and his daughter, part of the community's children, allowed him to focus on his livestock. While Yochi maintained a preference for following rules, he was known for his kindness to employees and gentle treatment of animals, endearing him to his workers. Yochi's atypical farmer persona went beyond the farm chores, he had a second life as a nature photographer. With a passion for photography since a young age, he continued this lifelong interest when he took over the family business. His photographic skills captured various farm events, from significant occurrences like new births and a calf's first steps to everyday scenes of a cow feeding or chewing its cud. The quality of his photos attracted buyers, providing him with additional income. Living in a kibbutz afforded Yochi the chance to photograph numerous communal events, broadening his caretaking role to include a diverse range of animals beyond his cows. He assisted his neighbors in caring for their diverse array of farm animals, which included horses, donkeys, rabbits, and various types of ducks residing in small ponds. Appreciating the chance to observe and photograph this assortment of animals, the benevolent farmer also made it a point to feed the stray dogs and cats that frequented his farm. These four-legged visitors eagerly awaited his offerings, with some becoming regulars. Among the notable visitors were three stray cats, who came daily for a bowl of milk. One of these cats, a charming female with ginger and white fur named Missy, stood out. Missy, known for her friendly nature, spent her time exploring the farm with an adventurous spirit. Yochi, the farmer, found joy in capturing her various moods through his photography, whether she was happily socializing or reserved and quiet on different days. Regardless of her ever-changing personalities, Missy was a beloved presence on the farm. Each morning, as the cats gathered, it was clear their mission was to indulge in the farm's milk. However, Missy began exhibiting peculiar behavior. After eagerly slurping her milk, she would discreetly slip away from the group. Her whereabouts during these disappearances remained a mystery until she reappeared later in the day, drenched and attempting to shake off water from her fur. Although the sight was amusing, no one paid much attention, assuming she had gone off to play. Little did they realize that, considering the absence of rain, Missy couldn't possibly be damp from just water. If anyone had taken a moment to ponder, they might have uncovered the mystery behind her wet appearances. This pattern persisted for several days. Missy would casually stroll in with her feline companions, hastily consume her milk and cat food, and then rush out. Many farmhands paid little attention to Missy, she displayed occasional unusual behavior, but overall, she seemed healthy in content. Despite his busy schedule, Yochi closely observed the ginger cat. Sometimes, she returned to the shed fully covered in grass, her ginger fur tinged green. Always wet and seemingly covered in water, her fur appeared as if glued to her body, almost as if she had bathed in some sticky gel. Intrigued but unable to unravel the mystery, Yochi continued with his daily activities, unaware that he would soon discover the shocking reason behind Missy's peculiar behavior. One day, during his routine walk, Yochi encountered a startling sight that left him screaming in shock. From a distance, he perceived a gruesome scene that seemed like an impending attack. It looked as though one of the farm's calves was about to step on a smaller creature with ginger fur. The calf, though still small by cow standards, was significantly larger than the other animal. Yochi realized that if the calf got distracted by the tempting grass at its feet, it could inadvertently crush the tiny creature to death. Driven by shock, the photographer hurried closer to investigate and possibly rescue the small being. Upon closer inspection, Yochi discovered that the creature in question was none other than Missy, 
the ginger tabby cat. To his relief, he realized she was not in any danger. It turned out that the calf was fully aware of Missy's presence and was walking beside her with utmost care. Despite the apparent mismatch in size, Yochi soon realized that he was witnessing an extraordinary friendship between the unlikely pair, a cat and a cow. After overcoming his initial shock, the man found this side of Missy endearing. It then dawned on him that this was where the cat always went after having her milk. However, this didn't explain why Missy was consistently wet at the end of the day. Amused by his unexpected discovery, he decided to trail the cat the next day to unravel this newfound mystery. Little did he know that he was about to stumble upon something extraordinary. The following morning, Missy arrived at the farm with her cat friends. As usual, she quickly slurped up her milk and slipped away. Yochi saw her departure and followed from a distance. She walked toward the cowshed, and he silently stuck his head inside to observe. Passing a few stalls, Missy stopped in front of one in particular. When he realized what she was doing, he couldn't help but let out a muffled scream. Missy walked up to the same calf from the previous day, and they nuzzled against each other. The cow began licking the cat in a cleaning ritual, and despite Missy's slightly disgruntled expression, she didn't attempt to move away. The cat seemed somewhat content with the unusual show of affection from the young cow, even raising her chin to make it easier for the large animal to clean her neck. After about an hour, they lay together with their heads against each other. Yochi realized how much these two adored each other, and the astonished man marveled at the beautiful display of friendship by this odd couple. After watching them for a while, he decided to take pictures of them. Not wanting to startle them, he kept his distance while clicking away on his camera. The animals stayed together all day, playing and enjoying each other's company until evening. The calf gave the cat one last slobbering kiss before she walked away. Missy, who had come to the farm dry in the morning, now walked back with dripping wet fur. The mystery was solved, and from that day on, the farmer made it a point to look for them every day just to witness their beautiful display of friendship. Missy continued to return every day to reunite with her cat friends, and their friendship blossomed into something truly heartwarming. The cat had discovered her own unique path to receiving love and affection. We hope you enjoyed this beautiful story as much as we did. If you did, please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating tales like this one. Don't forget to click the like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to bringing you our next incredible story. See you soon. Let's continue. Elephants are huge animals, but their IQs are very high. Elephants have various talents, so they are called the smartest animals. Elephants are known to have excellent memories, and they can even remember events that happened years ago. In Thailand, a heartwarming moment between an elephant and a veterinarian was captured. I saw the elephant slowly approaching the veterinarian, stretching its nose towards the person in front of it. No one thought that the elephant would make such a move. What is going on, in front of the camera, the veterinarian pointed to a wild elephant that he rescued 12 years ago. To everyone's surprise, the wild elephant recognized the veterinarian. The camera recorded the elephant's reaction and behavior when it recognized the veterinarian. Once the video was released, countless netizens were moved. Twelve years ago, during an outdoor expedition, Dr. Roper Manian found a dying elephant in the forest. This elephant is suffering from a parasitic disease called sleeping sickness. For wild elephants, once infected with this disease, they may lose their lives at any time the elephant is suffering, it is struggling, but to no avail. Dr. Roper Manian immediately performed a simple examination on the elephant. He found that the elephant not only had a fever, but also had swelling on the face, neck and stomach. The most terrible thing is that the elephant's eyes and legs have wounds of varying degrees. These wounds are already inflamed, and the elephant suffers from anemia, which also makes the elephant's condition worse. Doctor. Roper Manian immediately contacted the staff of the local wildlife protection plan. They immediately sent people to the scene. 
They carried the injured elephant into the car and took it to Wildlife Rescue Center which Dr. Manian belongs. After the medical staff learned of the elephant's condition, they immediately checked the body and made a health assessment for it. They discovered that elephants were in worse condition than they had imagined. Rescue is urgent. Under the leadership of Dr. Roper Manian, they performed surgery on the elephant, infused it with antibiotics and nutrient solution, and cleaned its body in wounds. Under the full rescue of the medical staff, the elephant escaped from the tiger's mouth and successfully saved its life. However, the subsequent treatment was more difficult, and the elephant had to survive postoperative infection and sepsis. At the same time, because the elephant suffers from anemia, this also causes its body to recover more slowly, which is a big challenge for both the elephant and the medical staff. Faced with this giant animal, although the medical staff have rich experience in wild animal rescue, it is basically the first time they have seen such a seriously injured wild elephant. Elephants are recognized as friendly animals by humans, but the temperament of elephants that are sick will also change. What if one day you are unhappy and make unfriendly and aggressive behaviors towards humans? Thinking of this, all the medical staff were frightened and trembling, for fear that the elephant would show off its power. Dr. Roper Manian sensed what everyone was thinking, and in order to break the suffocating atmosphere, he made a move that no one expected. I saw him walking up to the elephant, stretching out his hand and stroking it gently, as if saying, don't be afraid, take it easy, to it. The elephant's reaction also changed from being sensitive and defensive at the beginning to being relaxed and at ease. It became very quiet and well-behaved under the comfort of Dr. Roper Manian. The elephant's behavior surprised the medical staff. They didn't expect the elephant to become so docile, which gradually relieved their nervousness. During the subsequent treatment, the medical staff became more comfortable getting along with the elephant, and they treated the elephant as their own child. Under careful treatment and care, the condition of the elephant gradually improved. Finally, after a few months, he fully recovered and he was about to return to the wild. So, on a sunny day, Dr. Roper Manian and the medical staff sent the elephant to the place where it was found. Looking at the elephant's leaving figure, everyone thought that this story should be completed. The period ended, but after 12 years, something unbelievable happened. In 2021, Dr. Peter Rapur is monitoring an area where wild elephants live. Since the story of wild elephants infected with parasitic diseases 12 years ago has attracted a lot of attention in the biological world, Dr. Peter Rapur was very impressed with the diseased wild elephants. During the monitoring, Dr. Peter Rapur accidentally found the wild elephant. He was very excited and contacted Dr. Roper Manian. Dr. Peter Rapur told Dr. Roper Manian that he had seen a wild elephant and hoped that he would also come to recognize it. After learning about the situation, Dr. Roper Manian came to the scene immediately, and what happened next shocked everyone. When the wild elephant saw Dr. Roper Manian, it rolled up the branch with its trunk to express its warm welcome. Then the wild elephant walked slowly up to Dr. Roper Manian and nuzzled him gently with his nose, just as he had done 12 years ago when he was petting the wild elephant. Dr. Roper Manian said that this was the first time he felt a connection between wild elephants and humans. He was very surprised by the actions of wild elephants. He did not expect wild elephants to recognize each other 12 years later. Express myself, we recognize each other and say hello to each other. This is a rare experience in my life. Dr. Peter Rapur said, I hope this story inspires everyone to realize the importance of being friendly with animals. Elephants are incredible animals with the largest brains of any land mammal. Weighing between 8 and 12 pounds, it's almost three times the weight of a human brain. They're as smart as dolphins, and I hope this encourages everyone to respect and love elephants. As Dr. Peter Rapur said, protecting and respecting elephants is the duty of human beings. In Africa, wild elephant populations are dwindling due to the illegal ivory trade, and wildlife defenders cannot afford to sit idly by. A conservationist named Abner found a herd of lost elephants who had lost their way while avoiding predators. 
Fearing that the elephants would fall into the hands of criminals, Abner decided to temporarily keep them. Abner has been very fond of wild animals since he was a child, and he has a good understanding of the habits of wild animals, especially elephants. He was able to communicate with the elephant patriarch simply by using language and gestures. Gradually, Abner smoothly integrated into the elephant herd. The elephants also trusted Abner very much, and Abner became very close to the elephants. Unfortunately, Abner fell seriously ill and spent the last part of his life with the elephants. Soon after, Abner passed away, and the elephant seemed to be aware of Abner's passing away, and their behavior moved everyone even more, after Abner's death, the elephants walked for twelve hours and held a vigil for him. They used this behavior to show their respect and gratitude, to Abner. Since then, every year on the anniversary of Abner's death, everyone will see this group of elephants appearing near Abner's home and spontaneously walking for twelve hours, just to mourn Abner. Everything has a spirit, and if you treat it kindly, you can feel at ease in the world. Animals can remember the small favors humans do to them and repay them, so why can't humans treat them kindly? Treating animals well is beautifying the world, protecting animals is creating harmony. No matter between people, or between humans and animals, we need sincere kindness, and kindness often creates a beautiful realm.